हेलो फ्रेंड आई एम शायंतनी वेलकम टू माय क्लास वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ लेट स्लॉन्ग जियोग्राफी चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट फोल्ड इट्स डेफिनेशंस एंड वेरियस टाइप ऑफ फोल्ड स्ट्रक्चर विद डिटेल्स एक्सप्लेनेशंस सो लेट स्टार्ट Fold. First of all, I read out the definition. Wave-like bands form in the crustal band by the tangential compressive force resulting from the horizontal movement caused by the endogenetic force originating deep within the earth is called the fold. What is endogenetic force? Endogenetic the force which originating deep within the earth. The resultant formations of the endogenetic forces earthquake, volcanism, etc. the force which originates in deep within the earth is called the endogenetic force and due to endogenetic force when a force coming towards each other in horizontal manner and it become the land form become wave like structure that is called the fold so it is wave like bend which is formed the tangential compressive force which is coming from both side and horizontal manner they are coming in horizontal way from deep within the earth that is called the fold now we will discuss about the different element of fold first limb two sides of the fold is called the limb two sides of the fold is called limb here is i write all the definitions of the different element of fold two side of the fold is called limb next is fold axis or axis of the fold the plane that bisects the angle between two limbs of the anticline or the middle limb of the syncline is the is called the axis of the fold or the axis plane this is the the middle point of two limb is called the fold of axis or axis fold next is hinge line when the different point of upper surface of the fold is joined in an imaginary line that is called the hinge line next one is crest crest is the highest point of the highest point that portion is called the highest portion is called the crest and the lowest portion is called the trough here i write all the definitions of the different elements of the fold now we will discuss about the deep and strike what is deep and what is strike if we draw a line in this area the strike is the direction and any horizontal line along the bedding plane that is the strike this is the horizontal line of bedding plane that is called the strike and angle the inclination of the bed rock with the respect of the horizontal plane inclination of the bed rock along the horizontal plane this angle is called the deep next we will be looking into the various type of fold the up folded first one is the anticline the up folded rock beds are called the anticline and the also the down folded rock beds are called the synclines these are formed due to the horizontal movement of tangential force or the compressive force due to the compressive force the anticline and the syncline form the up folded rock beds are called the anticline and the down folded rock beds are called the syncline next is anticlodium and the synclonium it is refer anticlorium refers to the fold structure in the region of fold mountain where the series of minor anticline and syncline within a extensive anticline 
when there are numerous anticlines are there that is called the anticlodium and when is there are numerous synclodium having a having an extensive syncline that is called the anticlodium and the synclodium next is symmetrical fold asymmetrical fold when the two limb of the fold incline uniformly and due to the compressive for both side a moderate intensity intensity is called the symmetrical fold when both side of the limb is uniform they are uniform and the force that coming towards each other from both side is moderate intensity that's why they form in uniform and both inclination inclined is same inclination is same that is called the symmetrical and when the unequal and irregular limbs with the different angle is called the asymmetrical and the one of the side is the inclination is one side of inclination is the moderate and other side is steep that is this is this type of uh, features is called the asymmetrical fold next is monocline and the isocline in case of monocline vertical force and movements are responsible for development of this kind of folds when the one line of inclination is moderate uh, moderate with the regular slope and other is the vertical other is steep at right angle that is called the monocline and the sin isoclinal clinal is formed when the compressive force is so strong and they both side of limbs are formed parallelly each other but not in the horizontal manner that is called the isocline fold next is recumbent fold overturn fold recumbent folds are formed that is the recumbent that is the overfold when compressive force is so strong that both side of the limb parallel as well as horizontal each other that is called the recumbent fold and the overturn fold is formed in one line of fold is thrust upon the other with the heavy intensity of compressive force that is called the overturn fold next we are looking into the open fold and the closed fold open open fold is basically of tubes angle which is more than 90 degree and less than 180 degree the angle between two limbs more than 190 degree but less than 180 degree the with the moderate intensity of compressive force that is called the open fold and the closed fold is when the two angle between two angle between two limb is accurate angle with the intensive compressive force accurate angle is closed fold and the open fold is the of tubes angle last one is the nappies nappies are resulted of the folding mechanism which is caused by the intensive horizontal movement due to the horizontal compressive force due to the high or intense compressive force one limb is overrides upon another that is called the nappy nappies this is all about this chapter you can follow here and get the pdfs all this material all these study videos also you can join the telegram to get the new notifications if you like this video please press the like button and share with your friends thank you for watching